Why do we procrastinate? Hi, I'm Angie. Thanks for joining me at Life Squared. Welcome to Life Squared, brought to you by the Perfectly Imperfect Network, from imperfect folk everywhere. Why do we procrastinate? Oh boy. There are lots of reasons why we procrastinate. Not one of them is good. Um, but there are things we can kind of overcome. This is part of our life coaching series. And so if you need a little coaching, you know, pay attention to um, our videos on life coaching. And please subscribe and like our channel. Number one, maybe you're just lazy. You just don't want to do the job, the task, the issue. I had a cousin once that explained one of our aunts says, I said, well, why didn't she tell us? She goes, I just don't think she wanted to bother. She's just too lazy to tell us. To talk? That's pretty lazy. I don't know whether it was true or not, but are you kidding me? Number two, I think this one probably fits more people than any. You fear failure, but more importantly, maybe you fear success. Because success comes with a lot of baggage. Success is hard work. Failure is easy. It doesn't require anything. I don't know. You got to ask yourself. Do I fear failure or success or success? Number three, you simply lack time management skills. There are so many different ways to work on time management skills. Um, we have electronics, we have good old paper, we have lists, we have life coaches, we have all sorts of people, all sorts of apps that can help you with it. Um, I know I am terribly bad about predicting how long it takes to do a task. First of all, sometimes I really get into it and um, time gets away from me. So when you lack time management skills, sometimes things take longer than they should, then you don't get something else done. You know, it's, it's a snowball effect when you're not managing your time correctly. Number four, you just like controlling others. You know, if you show up unprepared or you show up late, you're controlling the project, you're controlling other people, you know, you're the center of attention. It's negative attention, but you're the center. Then maybe you need to take a look at that and change that about yourself. Number five, you just lack self-control. You're constantly getting distracted. And a lot of times that is by doing the things you want to do rather than doing the things you don't want to do. Try not getting distracted. And again, that's another thing that life coaching can help you with. Number six, the big scary project is overwhelming you and it needs to be broken down into separate goals or smaller parts. You know, if you've got a month to get the project down, done, break it down into days, break it down into weeks. It helps and it keeps it from seeming so big and scary. Number seven, maybe you're just a perfectionist. And when you are too much of a perfectionist, you oftentimes paralyze yourself, freeze yourself because, well, if I can't do it right, I'm just don't want to do it at all. It's not admirable. And a lot of people think it is admirable. But all it does is keep you from moving forward. So be careful about perfectionism. Number eight, you simply have anxiety. You're scared to death of the project. There are lots of ways to get through anxiety. One of them is the four R's. 
um, look that up. We'll soon have a video about the four R's and um, a couple of other things you can do to keep your anxiety at bay. Number nine, you just have low self-esteem and you need to work on your self-esteem. One way to work on your self-esteem is just to get the projects finished. And sometimes getting the projects finished can be just as small as making a list and having pride in yourself each time you tick something off the list. So, try to get a grip on your procrastination. And you'll be much happier with yourself. Thanks for joining us at Life Square. We really appreciate you joining us today at Life Squared on the Perfectly Imperfect Network. To get more content, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Thanks for watching.